number one. Welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. Got a good video for you today. I just learned something from a buddy of mine. I'm not sure of the mix per, how many ounces per gallon. And uh, I'm running up to Tractor Supply to pick up the product. I believe he said it was like $10 for two and a half gallons of it. And this is going to be a good video for you because I didn't know. I bought it. It wasn't $10. It was $14.99. That's all right. Uh, let me show you what we got. Here you go. It's two and a half gallons for $14.99. Do you know how much a bag of fertilizer is? $60. And they don't go that far. You got 34% nitrogen in this. The mix, from what I understand, is a 50-50. So you put one gallon of this to one gallon of water, you mix it up, and you put it down. That's the mix. That's what I'm going to do when my garden dries out. Um, I'll be able to plant. But in the meantime, I'm going to mix this stuff up in a watering can and water it in and let Mother Nature do the rest. I'll see you in the next video. All right, got back to the house, had some lunch, put all my groceries away. I don't know what we got here on the table. All right. So, we got the death, diesel, exhaust fluid. Get this thing out of the package, because, well, cardboard only draws roaches, and I don't need any roaches in this farm. We got enough termites. Two and a half gallons, and I told you how much it was. It was like fourteen dollars and ten. So, from what I understand of the mixture, it's a 50-50 mix. Now, when I talked to Tony, uh, he messaged me back and says, you know, it's bearable because he used. I think three of these, so that's what, six, seven and a half gallons mixed into a big ass sprayer, which I'm taking guess is close to 40 gallons. So, um, I know um, he got his garden in before mine. I, I can't do anything with mine right now. Uh, at least I'm getting the nutrients in, which is the most important. So I'm taking a guess. I'll put this spout. It has a little drain, so I'm taking a guess this has to be up top. Of course, I don't know. I've never used this stuff before. So we're going to put some in here <coughs> okay Put a little bit more That's about right. Okay, so now, the one thing that, you know, I know a lot of people thought I was crazy, putting a spigot on the inside of the barn, but if it's raining and you're trying to do a project, wouldn't you rather be out of the rain? So let's pull this thing up. <coughs> over my cordless saw. Okay. So that's one. Let's go out to the uh, garden and try not to get trapped in the mud and uh, we're going to water this stuff in. Alright. 
Don't know if I'm going to be able to walk in here, but we're going to try. Supposed to get rain. Let's get the weed out. It's not too bad. Still too wet to put the tiller in here. I'm not going all the way to the end because I want a walkway in here. All right. I'm going to go mix up another batch and I'll be back. Some of this left over, this mixture, and I think I'm going to try some in the yard. It's not exactly 50 50. I added about, it's like 75% water and 25% urea. In this case, nitrogen or blue depth, whatever you want to call it. We've got rain coming. This stuff will push the nitrogen into the soil. I'm not really going to the end because I need a walkway to get in here. <coughs> nitrogen diesel fuel exhaust fluid in my garden which is a 34 percent nitrogen content you can do this too see you in the next video <laughs>